Hey, it's Dustin from 9design, and I'm making this video for my buddy Ernesto because we've been talking about guest vlogging a bunch. And I've recently done a guest vlog in my niche, and I wanted to show him the way that I presented my material to be posted on the blog. Um, but I'm going to make this video public on my YouTube channel because I think that anybody that does guest vlogging could benefit from this. And so basically what I'm going to show you is you could present your content in a Word document, email it to them, they'll cut and paste, and then they'll format it on their website the way that they want to. You can attach pictures, and that's usually the way that it's done. But what I want to show you how to do is actually to give them the HTML code so that they can just cut and paste that code, put it on their blog, and that puts you in control of how your post is formatted, the way that it looks, the way the pictures are uh, arranged on the post. And there's also some great SEO value, and so I'm going to go over to the computer right now, and we'll show you exactly what I mean and how to do it. Okay, here I am in the back end of my WordPress website. And just a note, if you don't use WordPress, that's totally fine. Any platform where you can create a post and copy and paste the HTML code will work. So in this case, we're using WordPress. I'm going to go to Posts. What you'll want to do is create a new one, but I've already created this one, so I'm just going to go and edit the post that I've already created to show you exactly what I've done. This is my post here, so I'll click Edit, and that'll bring me into the page editor, or the post editor. So here we are, and you'll notice I've actually formatted this post to look exactly the way I wanted to. So this is bold right here, this is italics, this is paragraph text, this is center aligned, and it's also got H2 heading 2 tags wrapped around it. I've included an image that's left aligned, and it has the paragraph text wrapped around it. More headings, these ones are my subheadings, so I've put them with H3 heading 3 tags. And then at the bottom, I have made a hyperlink back to my website. So that's one of the real great benefits uh, when it comes to search engine optimization is when you're guest blogging, you should be giving a backlink to your website so people can find out more about you. And this really helps your website perform better in the search engines, particularly if you're guest blogging for a high authority website because you're getting a hyperlink back to your website. And that's always a good thing. So me... I've decided, because this is the way I like doing things, and so this is why I recommend this, is I've created my hyperlink in a naked URL, just the URL itself. Now you can uh, use different anchor text if you want, add your keywords to the anchor text. Um, I just don't really like doing that too much because sometimes it flags uh, Google if you're, if you're trying to optimize for those keywords. So I like keeping it very natural, and that's why I've used uh, just the naked URL. And then I have a little bio about myself, and then I've put the naked URL to my own personal website. So when you're done creating the post and formatting it, you're going to want to go up here and click Save Draft. You do not want to publish this post because it's going to be published on a different website, on a different blog. And you don't want duplicate content. There's no reason to have it on your blog and somebody else's blog because it's, it's not going to help. So you, you are guest blogging. You want it to be original content on your your blog that you're blogging for and so that's why you click save draft so that it's never published on your website exactly so after you click save draft you can click preview and it'll show you what it looks like on your website without actually publishing it on your website and then you can just make sure that everything looks the way you want it to look so as you can see here everything's formatted properly the way that I want it to look um, if you click these links it'll actually take you to my website and so everything looks great. So once you're done and has your stamp of approval the way that you want it to look, go back to your post. And instead of looking at in the visual editor, you want to go in the text editor. Click text right here. And then this right here is all of your HTML code. And this is what you want to send the blogger that you're guest blogging for because everything will look exactly the way you want it to look. So I'm going to click select all. I'm going to click copy. And then in an email or whatever way that you're giving them the information, you're just going to say, hey, here is my post. And then paste this HTML code in the email. They'll cut and paste it, put it on their blog, and everything's great. So let me show you a couple other benefits of why this is so important. As you may know, I am an SEO, and so I'm always thinking about search engine optimization when I'm doing work. So let's go back to the visual editor and I'll show you one of the things that people don't do very often but it's really important is optimize your images so in this case this image right here is hosted on my WordPress blog 
And so not only am I doing a hyperlink back to my website down here, but I'm also hosting the image that's going to be on the guest blog post, the actual published post on somebody else's blog. The image is actually pointing back to my website. And so you, if I click edit here, you'll actually see the image URL. The image URL is right here. And I'm going to copy and I'm just going to cut and paste that. And let's publish, let's actually uh, just paste that in the browser. And so this is, this is the image right here. And you can see uh, my website URL for this image is right here. So this image is actually pointing back from the guest blog post to my website, which is good too. Now, in addition to just hosting it on my website, I'm going to optimize this image, or I've actually already done it, and I'm gonna show you. So let's go over to media, which is gonna have all of my images in it, my media library. I'm gonna show you how I've actually optimized this particular image so that it actually is uh, has a bunch of metadata hidden within the image itself. So when this is published on the other person's blog post, the metadata about my business goes along with it. So let me show you what I mean. This is the URL like I showed you before for the blog post, the title or the name of the image file. And then you can create different alt text, which is good. And then a description of what the image is about. Now something else that I do is I like attaching um, an address or latitude longitude coordinates to that image. So when Google indexes this image itself in Google Images, uh, there is a latitude longitude that's associated with this image. And this really helps just promote my website or my business because I'm giving the address of where my business is located. So basically what I'm saying is on somebody else's blog post, you can attach images with metadata that actually helps Google recognize your business better and it really helps out. So let's go back to the image real quick and we can actually test if the metadata is actually associated with this image. So we'll highlight the image URL and go over this little tool called Jeffrey's Exif Viewer. We'll paste in the URL and this little tool is gonna show us all of the metadata that's associated with this image and we'll see if, if uh, the work that we did actually is working. So here is the image itself. And you can see the image URL, the description that we assigned to this image, the latitude longitude that we assigned to the image. So that worked, that's great. Here's the address. And then there's a map. So, so when you're trying to rank your website in the Google three pack maps listing, and also just on the first page of Google, being able to have your images optimized is great. And if you can actually embed different metadata in the images for your blog post that points back to your website, that's a great thing. So at the end of the day, it's really up to the blog owner how they want their your material to be presented to them. Maybe they just want it in rich text format and they'll do all the formatting themselves on their website. And if that's the way they ask for it, that's the way you gotta do it. But nine times out of 10, if you have all this work done for them, everything's formatted and it looks nice, and you can just copy and paste this HTML code, that makes it a lot easier for them and the benefit to you is you can control exactly how it's formatted and the way your hyperlinks are presented. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below and make today extraordinary.